Why are country clubs so expensive? Memberships to top country clubs can cost anywhere from $200,000 to an insane $500,000. In fact, Sentosa Golf Club is one of the most expensive country clubs in the world. What exactly makes them so costly? The country club's origin story begins in England, where elite men used to gather and socialise in bars and coffee shops. Not our kind of coffee shop, ah. it's the more atas one. Huh? This later turned into a more permanent city club. Soon, these clubs relocated from the city to the countryside to meet the rising popularity of golf. Of course, the British brought this culture to Singapore as well. The first ever golf club established here in Singapore was actually exclusive to white men. By the mid-20th century, Singaporeans had enough of these exclusively white spaces and successfully established their first multiracial golf club. One thing that hasn't really changed is that memberships remained expensive. And that's because... So there are two main types of memberships. Full memberships and term memberships. Term memberships are memberships that you pay for yearly. So if you're planning on keeping your membership for a long amount of time, you're gonna have to fork out a lot of money. This is why full memberships, aka lifetime memberships, are a popular choice. But the catch is, these clubs only have a fixed number of full memberships in order to stay exclusive. So that's against the rules and you can't sit thus. Full memberships are transferable, which means that anybody can buy it on the open market. So the only way to get a full membership is to buy it from somebody who wants to sell theirs. And as Kiasu Singaporeans, we all know that the less there is of something, the more its value increases. The second reason is... I know what you're probably thinking. Duh! Everyone knows this. We got a new client at the bank. We'll make a lot of money. What makes a place good for networking? When country clubs were first created, locals wanted a comfortable space to bring together educated men from different backgrounds to exchange different views that contributed to our progress as a nation. In fact, the first committee that ran Singapore Island Country Club were actually made up of very high-profile people. It was and continues to be a place for people to socialise and conduct business. The rules and selection process of getting memberships tells us a lot about the premium vibe that these clubs want to maintain. Like over here, it says that there's a standard for what you can wear in a country club and that you can only get a full membership if the club committee approves you or recommends you. Singapore has won an Olympic gold medal. And sometimes you can even be given a full membership if you did something to make the country proud. Country clubs are places where your every need is tended to. You have access to things like picturesque golf courses, theatres, ballrooms, beautiful swimming pools, bars, and restaurants that can only be found within the premises. Country clubs are also a family affair. It doesn't matter if you have a full or term membership, just as long as you're the immediate family member of someone who has one. So these spaces are also kind of like little getaways for families. Sounds like paradise, right? Maintaining this kind of lifestyle requires huge costs. In 2023, SICC unveiled their brand new $66 million Book It Clubhouse. It was marketed as a magnificent urban sanctuary where members can enjoy an array of wellness facilities. While the operating costs of these clubs aren't widely known to the public, their annual reports do give us a little bit of a sneak peek. If you compare these costs to more heartland clubs like Serangoon Gardens, the difference is shocking. Clearly, location is a big part of the expenses. It's also common for members to contribute extra money on top of their membership fees in order to help sustain the club's operations. There's even a minimum spending fee that they have to hit. Otherwise, they have to pay the club this amount instead. Despite the cost, most members don't even use the facilities regularly. Singapore Island Country Club recently revealed that out of 7,800 members, only 2,000 were regulars. That means only 25% are active members. But let's be real here. If you belong to the top 5%, you wouldn't even blink twice at spending this amount of money. I never dreamed I would own a plane. But for people who aren't ultra-rich, you can actually get all these facilities for just $100 a month. Our parents' generation used to chase the five Cs. One of the Cs being country clubs. If you had a country club membership, you basically made it in life. But today, it's kind of a weird flex. Oh my god! What is that? With the loss of public golf courses in Singapore, it seems like country clubs are going to become the only places that Singaporeans can play golf. 
And since 2 out of 7% of Singapore's recreational land is used up by country clubs, mm -hmm. what is the future like for these luxurious country clubs that take up way too much space on our little red dot?